guys, it's Brickman117. Welcome back to the channel and another Halo Mega Blocks eBay haul. So it's been a little while since my last video. I've been pretty tied up with work and this is just a hobby for me. So work comes first and I just do this in between when I'm not too busy. The other reason that there's been a bit of a delay was I've been working on the Ultimate Pelican dropship mock as I'm sure a lot of you know and unfortunately I ran out of parts so I had to wait for parts to become available on eBay. Anyway, parts did come available on eBay which is what this video is about but I didn't have time to really unpack anything or go through it so I decided to put a video together showing you the latest eBay haul and then I can get back to building that Pelican for you. Before I move on to opening the boxes I just wanted to apologise I recorded this in real time. I've not edited the opening of the boxes. I didn't realise the camera is slightly out of focus, so apologies for that. Also, I did place the camera on my desk, and unfortunately, the floor that I record in is quite bouncy, so there's some horrendous camera shake as I'm emptying the boxes. So again, apologies for that. Bear with it. I'm sure you'll feel it's worth watching come the end. And as I say, there's plenty of bits in there, so I'll be back onto the Pelican build before you know it. Okay, so I don't know how well you can see all this lot. I might have to just, uh, maybe I'll just try and tip it out. It's quite a lot. Ooh, there we go. That's a lot of mega blocks. Okay, so straight away we've got a rhino, which is great. Looks like a pelican gunship. Good, we need that. Got a broadsword. Uh, looks like a wraith tank. Loads of instructions. It might be easier to just go through the instructions. So we've got the uh, versus covenant vampire. Don't know whether you guys can see that or not. Is it in focus? Kind of. Okay, so we've got second instruction for that. Got the uh, cauldron clash, which is good. I got one of those recently in another hall. There's the uh, wraith. The UNSC Falcon with landing pad, that's good because it's the right colour and I just like those sets anyway. There's the Rhino instructions. Another Covenant Seraph. I'm pleased that I have lots of these. I certainly I must have about, I don't know, maybe seven or eight of these now which is great because I like this colour. I want to build something something big out of this colour. So it's good that I've got lots of it. There's the Pelican gunship. Uh, police cruiser standoff. I do have one of those open somewhere, which is nice to have another one. Um, UNSC Night Ops Gauze Hog. Got quite a few of those. The broadsword. Another flame hog, quite a few of those. The flood invasion. UNSC rocket warthog, my first set I ever got. Versus Snowbound Battlescape. I don't see a Battlescape there, so guessing that's not in the box. Um, Wolverine, old set. And Mantis, which is great because the Mantis is the right colour. So that's now four sets that are the right colour. So that will all be used, stripped down for parts for the Ultimate Pelican. Oh, Really pleased I've got one of these. Covenant Outbreak. These are quite hard to get these sets now for a decent price, which is strange because it's a relatively small set, but I don't have one of those built, so I probably won't use these parts for the Pelican. I'd, I'd rather build this to have the set. 
uh, Revenant Attack versus Covenant Locust. Uh, I think I've got one of those, but I don't know if it's complete. A Phaeton Gun Gunship. Ooh, brilliant. I don't think, I don't know if I knew this was in here. Smuggler Insect, I really like these. I've said before, I want to do something special with these sets, these colors. I think they're really, really interesting color there. Uh, EVA's Last Stand. Not sure what this is. Oh, okay. Yep, don't have one of those. I'm not sure which one that is. That's the set that you get three different ones and they all sort of go together, but I don't have any of those, so that's good. Looks like lots of figure sets that were bought. Um, mongoose with a meal. That's good. Nice one to have. Lots of amendments in there for different sets. Uh, looks like an armor pack. Lots of armor packs by the looks of it. I'll look into those later. Uh, Covenant drop pod. Always handy, like the drop pods. Something else, another armor pack by the looks of it. Um, the Gremlin. Old set, but I don't actually have one complete and built. So again, if it's complete, I might try to build it so I can display it. Um, more armor packs by the looks of it. Yep. That's not Mega Box, I don't think, is it? No, that's the uh, the Magnet set. I don't know if that's in there or not. More Troop Packs, is that? Yep. Um, oh, not sure. I believe this was possibly the very first set that they produced. So it might be worth trying to find if I can find the pieces to that to display that as well. Uh, a Covenant Banshee. Another Covenant Banshee. Another Covenant Banshee. Okay, they obviously brought a few Banshees. Uh, Covenant Shade Turret. Armour Pack again. Well, wow, loads, absolutely loads of armour packs. Um, Brute Chopper by the looks of it. Not sure which one this is. Yeah, look at that later. Okay, what else is here? More armor packs. Salt units. Another drop pod set. Yeah, just loads of what well, looks like loads of armor packs and troop units. Uh, the Covenant Commander. Uh, oh, and uh, Flood Drop Pod. Quite like those. Oh, looks like some Call of Duty in there as well, maybe. Some stickers. Ooh, loads of stickers. That's always good. I like having spare stickers for when you want to do stuff that's been made and hasn't had the sticker sheets used. So I do collect all the stickers for using them on various different things. Uh, Orbital Banshee Blitz. Another UNSC Mongoose, which is one of the first sets as well. Again, one of the really early ones. Another Battle Pack. Another Battle Pack. There must be, I don't know if there are, I don't actually see a lot of figures in here. I don't know how many came with this, with this purchase. I can't remember. Sometimes when I buy these sets, they're sold without figures. There's definitely a, a figure there. So there is some figures in here. More figures and a Covenant Brute Prowler. So it's pretty hard to get all of that on the screen. I think most of it is there. There's a few flood forms there, some, oh, some battle wagons, forerunners. There's a part of the mongoose. There's the police cruiser, that's part of the Cauldron Clash. A couple 
more figures there. Yeah. Front of the pelican. Oh, that's the um, slips on my mind. Felt a uh, hornet. That's part of the prowler. So yeah, it's, it looks like it's pretty much there, the top of the rhino tank. Yeah, it's pretty much there. There's definitely a few figures in here. It looks like the bottom of the gremlin there. So yeah, I'm pretty pleased with uh, pretty pleased with that haul. That's a that's a good a good a good haul there. Okay, I'm gonna see if I can clear this lot to the side and bring up the next box. Okay, box number two. So, more used parts, another, oh, slipped my mind, too many, too many blocks to count. So, okay, so I don't know if this is the same set, but there is a whole bag of figures. And more figures. This is just a Okay. Lots more parts. I think this may be the same haul as the one we've just looked at because the smuggler inceptor wasn't in the other one. I think these are all those figures that we're seeing all those battle packs for. And also there's the Night Ops Claws Hog and the Flame Hog, and another part of the, uh, the gunship there. So yeah, I'm guessing this goes with that first lot. This is just a whole load of uh, yeah. That is a lot of parts. Lots of Mega Blocks. So yeah, lots of figures. Lots and lots and lots of figures. A whole bag of figures there. Okay, let's push all this lot to the side and see the next box. in case you guys want to see these figures. Yeah, that's a lot of figures. And weapons, all sorts in there. It's going to take a lot of sorting. Okay, next box. Okay, what have we got in here? So we've got a couple of sets of boxes, which again, I don't know if they're all opened. No, that's not even been opened, so that's good. All the figures still in their original plastic bags. Lots of parts in the bags. 
all on that. Those are still in the bags as well, so hopefully, maybe for the plate. And versus Snowbound, again, this one's taped up and it looks like, well, there is still stuff in the original boxes and in in bags in there, so maybe that's complete as well. I'll open that up, have a look at some point, and then what's else is in here? Okay. Oh, that. a short saw falling to pieces. Green, good sign. And then this bag. And get stuff in the box. And whatever's in this bag. Okay, can we still see? So we've got another flame hog, another rhino, a very dusty rhino. I think this lot's going to have to go through the washing machine, I would imagine. That's going to take a lot of dusting manually. Another ray. That looks like Call of Duty, some kind of truck. Not sure, there's no instructions with this lot, so it's literally just pieces. Another revenant. Definitely a Cyclops. There's another part of the tank. Looks like another Falcon. Some more. No, is that? No, that's not. I don't think that's a Falcon. That's that's something else. That may be. Maybe that's Call of Duty as well. How many of these have we got? One, two. Is there a green one as well. There was a green one in the other. The other hall, so uh, yeah, that doesn't look Halo either. Not sure what that is. Definitely a, a bit of a mixed bag. This one, so more figures in there as well. I oh, definitely don't know what this is. It's clearly Forerunner, but not Mega Block, some kind of toy. Have a look at that later. So that's the final mixed bag box, and then. The only other two things to add was, as you know, I'm collecting the green for the uh, Pelican, so I managed to pick up this, which is real, it's real battered, but it's in there. They said it was complete, so yeah, it's in there somewhere. And then one more, again, solders complete. I've not opened them yet. I'll have to have a look. So there's at least four Rhino tanks there, one Pelican gunship, two Falcons, Two Cyclops, uh, not Cyclops, uh, Mantis. Sorry, I said Cyclops before, it was a Mantis. So yeah, two Mantis and then a whole stack blocks to go through. So now that I've got all these parts, I'm going to start sorting these and I'll get back to building the Pelican. So hopefully I'll be able to release you a video for phase four on the Pelican very shortly. So that's just about it for the loft haul guys. I hope you enjoyed that. Uh, apologies again for the quality of that video. Definitely not up to my usual standards, but I threw it together very quickly for you just to get back in the game really. It's been a while since I released the video and I just wanted to get something out there for you. In regards to the next video for the Ultimate Pelican Mock, I had planned on doing a scale video, but I've changed my mind. I want to wait to the end to do that. So yeah, it's just going to have to wait. I'm going to get back onto it. I'm halfway through building the rear engine pods already before I ran out of parts. So I'll continue with those so I can release phase four shortly. And then once I've done that, I'll move on to the front engines and the wings. So that's all for now, guys. Uh, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe and we'll see you next time.